Hi ladies, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing eight fall trends out of style this season, but along with the things that are completely out of style, I'm gonna be sharing what you can wear instead because fall fashion is all about wearing things that make you feel good, wearing things that make you feel confident, but you certainly don't wanna be wearing things that are out of style. So I have been an influencer and a stylist for over 10 years, and I did start my channel about four years ago to help women just like you look and feel like the best versions of themselves so if that sounds good to you, if you will please hit that little subscribe button, I would truly appreciate it. Now make sure you listen to this entire video because the last trend that is completely out of style is one that you're gonna be completely shocked about. It's actually one that I honestly loved wearing. It's probably one of my favorite things that I have worn in the past, but I find myself really gravitating away from this certain trend. So you will definitely need to stick around to the end. Okay, this is a little bonus trend that is completely out of style that I wasn't gonna mention, but I think I'm gonna throw it up first in this video. I went to dinner last night with one of my best girlfriends and we were sitting on the balcony at this really fabulous restaurant in Dallas and we noticed a couple of women wearing this trend and we both looked at each other and we were both like, I can't believe they're still wearing that. Like that's totally out of style. I know that sounds a little catty. I try not to gossip about people. I try to always lift people up and think positively. But since this is what I do for a living, although these women were beautiful and darling, they had on headbands, you know, like those padded headbands with the pearls on them. Those are totally out of style, ladies. So ditch your headbands. Just gear away from headbands altogether because they are completely out of style. All right, the first thing out of style besides the headbands, item number one that you should definitely stop wearing. And I think you guys might give me a few comments about this one, but I'm just gonna have to say it. And it is the low rise, super skinny jeans. You guys, those are out of style. You shouldn't be wearing those anymore. You know what? In my day, I did love a good low waisted skinny jean. I'm not gonna lie but they actually make your legs look shorter because the waistline sits lower, so that's gonna shorten your leg length. So who wants that? So instead of the low rise skinny jean, what you should swap them for is more of a, what I like to call a modern skinny jean, AKA a slim straight leg or slim tapered leg jean. One of my favorite pairs of the modern skinny jean is the A Gold E Riley. I love this jean because it is slim fitting, it's also high waisted, and it's just gonna do a great job of making your legs look longer because of the high waist and because of the slim straight leg. These jeans are also one of my favorite pairs of denim, and here's why. You can wear them over ankle boots, you can wear them tucked into knee high boots, you can wear them with heels, you can wear them with sneakers. So if you were looking to add a pair of denim to your collection that you can wear with all types of shoes, the A Gold E Riley would be your answer. I have this denim in black and I have this denim in blue because it is that good. So I styled my black A Gold E Riley's with this fabulous chocolate brown free people sweater. You guys, this sweater is amazing. It's ribbed. I love the rich chocolate brown color. It's easy. It's not itchy. And that's one thing I look for in my sweaters. Like if it has any itch to it, I just can't do it. I just won't wear it. But this one again feels really good on my skin and I really loved the color. You can wear it like sort of subtly off the shoulder or you don't have to. I loved doing the half tuck adding a belt and then, you know, obviously pairing it back with these A Gold E black jeans. And then I went with these beautiful black knee high boots. These are by Saint Laurent. However, it's either Mark Fisher or Sam Edelman that makes a pair of black knee high boots that literally look identical. So if you don't wanna pay the price of the Saint Laurent ones, which I wish I hadn't, I would definitely recommend going for the Mark Fisher black leather knee high boots. You will get tons of wear out of them this fall and winter. Another way you can style these fabulous black A Gold E jeans with the knee high boots is with this slightly oversized Madewell blazer. You guys, this blazer is amazing. I love the slate blue color. I love that it's perfectly oversized. It's not too big, so it's not gonna like drown out your silhouette. 
It is considered an oversized piece though. So here's a little tip when you're styling an oversized piece, whether that be a jacket, a blazer, a denim jacket, like doesn't matter what kind of jacket or top you're wearing. If it's oversized, I would suggest keeping everything else fitted in your outfit. That is going to create balance and it's going to make you look taller and slimmer and like a better version of yourself. But this blazer, because it's by Madewell, it has a very great price point. Okay, item number two that is out of style this fall are neon bright colors. So I would say stay away from the bright colors and the two hottest colors this fall and winter are red and chocolate brown. First, I'm gonna talk about red. If you were a little bit afraid to wear red clothing, I would say go with a red lip, which is what I have on in today's video, and I'm really loving it. I feel beautiful, I feel confident when I wear a red lip. So I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? Because I just love how I feel when I put on red lipstick. This one is by Gwen Stefani. I will link it down below. It's honestly the most beautiful red lip color. It's actually a lip stain, so it's gonna stay on all day. Like I put it on this morning, I have eaten a little bit of food, I have had a little bit of coffee, and it is still on. So I highly recommend this fabulous red lip stain. Now, if you are willing to try a little bit of red in your wardrobe, I would say try this fabulous red dress. It's the one that I'm wearing today. This one is from Revolve. I love this beautiful red color. It's ribbed, it's fitted, it hugs your silhouette in all the right places. This would be a perfect date night look or girls night out look. But let me give you a little tip of how I styled it. I actually put a black leather bustier top underneath it. This one is from Express. The reason I did that, I think it just gives it a cool layered look. But to be honest, I wasn't planning on doing that. But when I tried on the dress, the neckline was scooped too low and it showed too much of my boobs. And so I was like, I don't wanna do that. It's a little too risky. So I put on the bustier top underneath it and I loved how this look turned out. I actually went to a Neiman Marcus fashion show the other day and they showed like a couple different ways to style the bustier top and I loved all of them. So that's kind of what gave me the inspiration for styling this bustier top underneath this fabulous red dress from Revolve. Let me know what you think. Do you like the bustier top underneath this dress or not. You could also do like a simple black bodysuit. You could do a lace corset. You could do a lace camisole. Like the possibilities are endless, but I personally loved how this faux leather bustier top from Express looked underneath this red dress. This would be a perfect look for a date night or a girl's night out. Here's a way you can wear chocolate brown this season. So I'm really loving chocolate brown. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. It's a great alternative to wearing black because it's a little bit softer on the skin. So this is a beautiful brown faux leather jacket. This one is by Levi's. It is from the Nordstrom website. It is $89, you guys. And when I tell you it looks way more expensive than $89, that is an understatement. I think a leather jacket, whether it's faux leather or real leather, is just a great way to sort of edge up your look. It's gonna make you look more youthful. And like I said, it's gonna add a little edge to your look. You could also wear leather jackets with denim. You can wear them with dresses. You can wear them with skirts. Like the possibilities are endless, which is why I think having at least one fabulous faux leather or real leather jacket in your closet is a must and I really love this one by Levi's it comes in like eight different colors and what a steal for only $89 I paired it over this fabulous tan bodysuit this one is by good American so super comfortable it hugs everything in it does a great job of staying tucked in obviously because it is a bodysuit which is why I personally love wearing bodysuits so much and then these are the citizen of humanity trouser jeans a high-waisted baggier silhouette which is all the rage right now in the denim world. Love these jeans. They're actually slimming for a baggy silhouette because they have that high waist. I also love that they're a darker wash, perfect for fall and winter. Okay, don't hate me for saying this one, please, but I'm just gonna say it, and I've said it before, wearing leggings as pants or like with a dressier outfit is out of style. Definitely, if you're gonna wear leggings, I hope you're going to yoga or like the grocery store because black leggings are just kind of out of style, you guys. Instead of wearing black leggings, I would say wear the black A-gold E jeans I just talked about. 
but if you're gonna wear leggings, there's one pair I recommend and one pair only, and that is the Spanx faux leather leggings. Now this is a super casual look. This is a weekend look. If I was gonna go meet a girlfriend for coffee, I would wear this. If I was running errands to the grocery store, I would wear this. If I was going out at night, I would not wear this. So if you really wanna wear your leggings, like I said, I would choose the Spanx faux leather leggings. Because they're faux leather, they're gonna look a little bit more elevated than the regular black leggings. So that is definitely my top pick. They do a great job of holding everything in and they just are very slimming as well because they are high-waisted. I paired these leggings with my fabulous platform Uggs that I'm obsessed with. I love these platform Uggs. They're super cozy, super comfortable, perfect for like a rainy day or just super casual, like I said, on the weekends or running errands. And then this is a gray cropped uh, denim jacket by All Saints. I love this denim jacket because it's a bit different because it is the gray denim and I think gray denim goes with so many different things. All right, the next thing that is out of style this fall and winter are asymmetrical hemlines, whether that's on a top or a dress. I would say stay away from asymmetrical hemlines and go with just basically a straight hemline, like for a dress, for example. I would go with a midi length. That is my personal favorite length of dress to wear because I think it looks great on most body types. It's very flattering and very slimming. This is a fabulous midi dress by Aster from the Nordstrom website. Great price point. I think it's under $100. It honestly reminds me of a Stodd midi dress that I actually own but instead of being like $400, this one is, like I said, under $100. I love the fact that it's black and ivory, so a really beautiful, sophisticated color combination. This dress hugs your curves in all the right places. I love it paired just alone without a jacket, but you could always top it off with a black leather jacket or a black blazer as well. Okay, the next item that is out of style this fall are cow necks. You know, like the big cow necks. I would say ditch those. Definitely don't wear those anymore because they are out of style. And what I would swap them for would be a very chic and polished turtleneck. So turtlenecks are classic. Turtlenecks are elegant, they're classy, and they honestly look good on almost any body type, especially if you have a long neck. So this is a fabulous cashmere turtleneck. I love the Nordstrom cashmere. They absolutely make the best cashmere, and it's always a really great price too. This one is black. It's probably my most worn sweater, like in the cold winter months. I love putting this on, it feels cozy. And then again, because it's a black turtleneck, it's gonna be a great layering piece that's going to pair really well with almost any jacket. The jacket that I'm wearing is the Veronica Beard Miller jacket. This is a top seller on SoHeather.com. This jacket reminds me of the Balmain blazer, but instead of being like $2,000, this one is like $600, which yes, that's definitely still expensive. But if you invest in a good black blazer, you're gonna get your cost per wear out of it because there are two jackets in my closet that I wear most often. Number one would be the black blazer and number two would be the black leather jacket. So because those are my two most worn jackets and they probably will be for you too because they're so versatile, I think it's okay that you invest the money in a leather jacket and a classic blazer because like i said you will definitely wear them a ton this one is amazing veronica beard makes a killer blazer the fit's always impeccable the material is wrinkle free very high quality and then i love these beautiful luxe buttons i paired them with the a gold e simple 90s pinch waist jeans these are a high waisted straight leg jean they're a perfect pairing to go with these veronica beard pointy toe booties these are ankle booties they're made of suede they come in several different colors i love this black booty for fall and winter it's probably my most worn ankle boot in the fall and winter all right the next trend that's out of style and i'm actually really glad about this because i never liked this trend i never wore this trend and that is the no pants trend. Oh my gosh, did you see that one? Like Kendall Jenner wore it, a few celebrities wore it, some mega influencers wore it, and I just never liked it. So let me say this too, ladies. If there's ever a trend that you don't like, like you don't have to wear it. You know what? You should only wear like one or two trends a season anyway. Only wear what you feel comfortable and confident in. There is no way in the whole wide world that I would feel confident wearing the no pants trend, which is why I would never 
never wear it. So what about you? What's one trend that you're like, I will absolutely never wear that trend? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know because I always love hearing from you guys. So instead of wearing the no pants trend, I would say wear pants. Hey, there's an idea. And I love these Veronica Beard faux leather flares. You guys, these are high-waisted. They're a flare leg, so basically the most universally flattering denim or pant silhouette on the market because of the high waist and the floor skimming hemline. They're gonna do a phenomenal job of making your legs look longer and you look taller and slimmer. And honestly, if I had to pick one pair of pants that fit me the best and that are the most slimming pants I own, these would be them, hands down, no doubt about it. So I highly recommend these. You can wear them to holiday parties. You can dress them up, wear them on girls' nights out, date nights. I have a reward style conference coming up next week. I probably will wear these pants in the evening. So anyways, these are just absolutely amazing and I highly recommend them. I paired it with this black fringe sweater. This one's from the Revolve website. It has a really beautiful sort of sheer center. So very tastefully sexy. Okay, this one is definitely controversial and you guys might hate me for saying it. Some of you might disagree with it, but I'm just gonna throw it out there and that is this. The Golden Goose sneaker, it's kind of on its way out, ladies. I'm sorry if you love the Golden Goose sneaker. I love the Golden Goose sneaker, but to be honest, like I said, it is on its way out. Trust me, ask any like Uber stylist, they would agree with me. The Golden Goose sneaker, out of style. Instead, I would just stick to a classic white sneaker. These ones are by Cala, they're beautiful. They're white leather, they have a slight platform so they're gonna make you look a little bit taller. I love the beautiful gold hardware. Um, I think Sam Edelman makes a very classic white leather sneaker which I will link down below. But this is the sneaker that all the, like, the celebrities and mega influencers are wearing and my Neiman Marcus stylist told me to wear and that is the Adidas black and white simple sneaker. I love these, I think they're cool, I think they're chic, I think they're edgy. I have not ordered them yet personally, but I think I am gonna order them. So if you wanna wear what all the it girls are wearing, this would be the sneaker that you need to order. I styled my Cala white platform sneakers with my A Gold E Riley jeans I talked about earlier. See, they look amazing with sneakers as well. And then I just did a simple white tank, and then this is a cropped army jacket under $100. I would say this is the perfect weekend jacket. This is a great, easy look for running errands, going and watching a kid's football game, you know, just like going to the grocery store, what have you. You're gonna look super casual, you're gonna be comfortable, but you're also gonna look stylish. All right, this is the last trend, the one you've all been waiting for that I said I absolutely loved this trend, wore this trend all the time, but it is definitely now out of style, and that is overly ripped denim. Yes, I was probably the queen of wearing ripped jeans. All of my girlfriends would basically know me for wearing ripped jeans, heels, and a leather jacket. Like that's kind of my style uniform. Not saying I won't wear ripped denim anymore because I definitely will, but I will not be wearing overly ripped jeans because those are out of style. So when I say overly ripped, I mean rips like up and down the legs all over. Definitely ditch those and wear subtly ripped jeans. Or wear jeans with no rips in them at all. These are the most current jeans I have purchased, so I wanted to show you guys these fabulous A Gold E cuffed jeans. This is all the rage right now. These come in blue, and they come in this really cool sort of charcoal gray wash. They say they're a low rise, but I like to wear them a little bit higher sized down in these jeans so that I made them a high rise and then I always belt them because I think that elevates the look. These are super comfortable, very fashion forward, and very in style. I paired them with this caramel fabulous sweater set by Girlfriend Denim. I love pairing camel and gray together. I think it's a very expensive and unique color combination. This is a great sweater set. It's basically a tank and then you top it with the sweater on top and it makes this really sort of cut out detailing, very tastefully sexy, perfect for a date night or a girl's night out. I added a belt, like I said, in a fabulous black slingback heel because slingback heels are another big fashion trend we are seeing this fall and winter. So those were the eight trends out of style this season. Please let me know what your favorite look was because I always love hearing from you guys. I also wanna take a moment and say that my divorce is almost final, hopefully in the next month or two. So that divorce video that I have promised you guys is coming 
And I just want you to know that I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart that I'm able to do this because if I didn't have this YouTube channel, I wouldn't be able to support myself and just have this amazing job. And I just can't tell you how grateful I am. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm so Heather Blog. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.